Personal Finance PowerPoint Presentation Medicare Part D Providers Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Insurance is part of our long-term risk mitigation strategy where we follow the adage of measure twice, cut once, putting a formal process in place, looking something like setting the goals, develop a plan to reach them, put the plan in action, review the results, and repeat the process periodically. Most of this information can be found at Investopedia, best Medicare Part D providers, which you can find online. Take a look at the references, resources, continue your research from there. This is by Stephanie Travato updated April 27, 2022. In prior presentations, we've been looking at insurance in general, moving to the medical insurance, which is more complicated due to the medical field complications and the laws and regulations related to the medical field and the insurance for it. And now we're talking about the Medicare, which we've talked about different parts of Medicare, part A, B, and so on. Now we're looking at part D providers, noting that we ourselves are not affiliated with the providers or Investopedia. Investopedia may be in some way uh, affiliated by the providers that they're looking at, but we just want to give some idea of a place that we can start at looking at different companies. Take a look at Investopedia as a resource to look at the references, continuing your research from there and possibly looking at the company websites, of course, themselves as you do some comparisons if you're looking at the Part D providers. So the best Medicare Part D providers, according to Investopedia, uh, more than 75% of the people enrolled in Medicare are also enrolled in Medicare Part D. So that means that you might need to be doing that too. That's an indication possibly that that's a good thing to be doing. And uh, if you do that, then you gotta look for possibly a provider. So which that covers the prescription drugs. And as we get older, we might need more drugs, right? We need more drugs to, to handle life right at that point. So we got Medicare Part D's enrollment has more than doubled since 2006. And if you want to join these 48 million people currently enrolled, there are some points to be aware of before you choose one particular company over another. We, uh, we've researched and compared over 20, this being Investopedia's, 20 companies to find the five best and to help you decide on a plan that's right for you. We selected the five companies below as offering the best medical Medicare Part D drug plan coverage based on the factors such as range of service, price, accessibility of whether of their website and mobile app. So that's important, the phone. Any, everybody that's over 65 is, is all into the, the latest apps on the phone. And the CMS star rating uh, to help enroll in the plan that's best for you. All companies we reviewed had plans available in at least 40 states and they are further broken down to highlight each company's best features. So let's take a look at them. What are the five? So we'll just list out the five here. And again, you might wanna just take a look at the actual company websites, take a look at Investopedia and use the references and links to do some comparisons. But just to get an idea, the five best Medicare Part D providers according to Investopedia for 2022, best in ease of use, it's easy to use, Humana, Best in broad information, we got the Blue Cross, Blue Shield, best for simpli simplicity, Aetna, best in number of medications covered. You got a whole variety of medications apparently with uh, Cigna. You could just, all those weird names for the, for the different kinds of medication. It's just, it's like, it's like going into the weed distributor where they got, you know, all the purple kush and the whatever. Any case, best in education, you got the AARP. So Humana, Humana smooth website and simple. So we're just gonna go through like two of these so you could take a look at them in more detail. We'll just go through like one or two just to give you an idea of the pros and cons and then you can do your own research from there at the company website and or uh, taking a look at the references and resources from Investopedia. So we got Humana, Humana's smooth website and simple process for comparing plans, make it a winner. Uh, when you look into Humana's Part D offering, the page automatically fills uh, fills in your location data. Wow, that's good. It's kind of scary at the same time, but I guess that's good. That makes it easy, I guess. 
So if you have location services on and immediately shows you the plans available in your area, you may also have access to preferred cost sharing benefits when you fulfill your prescription at Walmart, depending on the plan you choose. What are the pros? You might say extremely easy to get access to plan comparisons. That's nice. Comparing and contrasting and an easy way is nice. Offers basic, moderate and comprehensive plans with costs and coverage that can scale up from plan to plan. The cons advertises with Medicare plans on the whips on the web page for Port D enrollment. That's uh, a con. Okay, Humana was rated the easiest to use for its uh, genuine focus on making the healthcare application process as easy for customers as possible. Well, that's nice. It's nice to have an easy process. You would think that they would be incentivized to make the process easy to roll up in if they want your money. It doesn't require you to click through several different windows to get the information you're looking for as you try to apply. Uh, it's all right there, easy, easily accessible. Humana is also ranked highly with a positive rating of A with A and best, meaning the company is, is financially stable. Well, that's good for an insurance company. You don't want the insurance company not to pay you know, your bill like when the insurance comes in. And Humana has educational material on its website, including a number of help and how-to articles, which is nice. They can tell you how to do stuff. That's good. I usually just go to YouTube, but whatever. So li Live Humana Associates are available via phone if you need help with any questions along the way. A live person? That is impressive. You could talk to like a like a person that knows stuff that's maybe... Anyways, I'm not how, I'm not sure how knowledgeable they are, but you can check that out. Let's take a look at Blue Cross. I don't I think this is the last one we'll take a look at, and then you can go to Investopedia and do your comparison and contrasting from there. Blue Cross Blue Shield, what do they got? Unlike many other companies, Blue Cross Blue Shield doesn't offer specific estimates on its main website based on your zip code, the date of birth, and other information. Most of the more in-depth information is found on the state affiliates webpage. Uh, its coverage page does does on the main site, however, lay out the basics for Medicare and the Medicare Part D. So the pros, detailed plan descriptions broken down by state, very straightforward educational materials on the main web page, uh, the website, different levels of coverage. What are the cons? No uh, easily accessible price comparison. So you don't have quite as easy as, as the comparison just doing it automatically apparently if you had your zip if you had the tracking on as with the prior humana i believe would be the comparison their limited explanation on the difference between different levels of coverage it might be a little bit more confusing to see what the pros and cons are between the coverage levels Blue Cross Blue Shield clearly takes patient education seriously it wants to provide accurate information from the start and its approach and website are different from most other companies. Instead of offering estimates based on your personal information, Blue Cross Blue Shield provides lots of general upfront information about Medicare and all its different parts, including Part D. It also offers a state-by-state -state breakdown of offerings and who to contact for more information. So it looks like instead of just focusing more on like signing up quite easily, they might be trying to show you more about the, the whole how Part D possibly fits into the whole uh, Medicare system, which might be good because it might make you a more knowledgeable purchase, uh, you know, decision-making process as you kind of are able to fit the pieces together. So, in any case, take a look at the two websites, see what you see what you think about them. It's quite uh, its quote process is not the most straightforward. If you visit your state's Blue Cross Blue Shield website, you will be redirected to Anthem. Blue Cross Blue Shield parent company to begin a more detailed quote process. So again, you can take a look at some of the other ones and, and think about your comparisons there just to give you some ideas to be launching into the practicalities of the situation, doing some comparing and contrasting of the companies you might be dealing with or looking into dealing with.